Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another mailbox video. Yeah, our guy Cotter hooked us up again with a sweet mail day. Uh, and I gotta say, before we even jump into this, you know, it's Friday, summer's almost over. Yeah. I know. You go I back to school next week. Yeah, I start school on Tuesday, which is crazy. So we are, uh, we've had a blast this summer yeah. collecting. And I know we had fun keeping up doing, I would say, maybe three videos on average a week. Cotter has helped us a ton with uh, helping us uh, create content. But we've just had a blast this summer. So I want to say thank you to uh, all of you for watching and subscribing. Now, jumping into some beauties from Cotter and a ton of randomness. I had never even seen this before. This is a sticker from 1990 Panini. You got Boggs thanking or congratulating Bo there. This is from the All-Star game when Bo led off the game with a home and run. And I think that's Benito Santiago. I, I believe so, too. Then also from the 1990 stickers, we've got Mr. Ron Kittle. Got the yellow there from the old Comiskey Park. And then Ozzy Guillen out in the field. From 1991 Donruss, Mr. Sammy Sosa. This set is a uh, holds a special place in our hearts because that was one of the first sets that Porter put together. It was, actually. Got a Ray Durham all-rookie team. Got David Wells. If you need some guys for the Immaculate Grid, a lot of people forget he played for the White Sox. Got Scott Fletcher. Always loved 1985 Fleer. Then we got Royce Clayton on the Fleer Platinum. Another great guy for the grid. I remember him as a San Francisco Giant and not a White Sox. And then also, I, I don't know why I got this in my mind. This is another great Immaculate Grid one. Chris Sabo with the White Sox. Oh, yeah. Some people hate this Fleer design just because it's just so messy. Here, let me show this. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So this is from that same set of Jim Abbott with the White Sox. He's also a good grid guy. <laughs> Played for the Yankees, the Brewers, the Sox, and the... Angels. Yep, and we got Shoeless Joe. Then Kings of Swing got the Tops Chrome variation. I think we had the, the base, not the chrome of this one gone. Then we got Kenny Lofton, Changing Places card from Fleer. Got a really cool Jermaine Die card from his time with Kansas City, a Sports Illustrated card. Then Adam Dunn, Superstar Celebrations from Opening Day. Uh, cool Albert Bell. This is the gold variation of Crash the Game. And then from 1992 tops, Albert Bell. And then a Frank we did not have, talking about the 1995 Home Run Derby Championship. I love that one. Yeah, it's a beautiful shot there. Another Frank from his time with the A's. And then we got some basketball, Mr. Ron Harper. Gary Payton with the Lakers. And then our guy, Scotty, on the SPX. Now jumping into my stuff. Uh, anytime I get this, I will show it. It's the 74 traded Ron Santo. Hall of Famer. I love that card. Got a Steve Stone from 1979. You know what? Uh, and shame on me. I think he was interviewed earlier this week on uh, the score. And I don't know if he hinted that this may be his last season in the booth. Because I saw Chuck oh. Swirsky... I, saw, I thought I saw Chuck Swirsky put a tweet out that he didn't want him to leave the booth. So I don't know if there's a contract situation. If you've been following the White Sox, their new play-by-play -play guy that replaced Benetti has been very polarizing. And if I'm Steve Stone, boy, this would, <laughs> this would have been a tough season to, to announce. So yeah. maybe he's done. Now, this next one is just awesome, Cotter. This is a Sebastian Janikowski special from Topps XL or Panini XL. It's a trading card game. Yeah, that's almost got some of that cracked ice. Yeah, or whatever. the cracked ice look. Oh, uh, got a Jonathan Taylor donut circles. That right. is donut circles. That is actually. I uh, got a Caleb. Now you have three Caleb cards now. Yeah, the one I got in the show, this, and another one from Cotter. And he had a great uh, first game. Hope we can keep that up. And then two more 2024 Series Twos I needed. Yeah, and you keep chipping away at that set. So last but not least is a card that we both love, uh, thanks to, uh, one, just being a kid of the junk wax and then Porter living vicariously through me, but also our guy, uh, a Glove and Beyond TV, uh, <laughs> Mr. Greg Clark, yeah, because he, he used an animation app when doing a video, 
And, and this was one of the cards. And this was the card. And so Porter is so happy to own a copy. Project 2020, Ken Griffey Jr. of the 89. Uh, it's, uh, and who's the artist? It should say on the back. It does. Uh, let's see here. Who's it should that? be at the top. Oh, uh. Keith, Keith Shore, that's right. That, yeah. yeah. It's Keith Shore does the, the artwork and it's got some cartoonish. And, you know, for those of us that lived through 2020, um, and especially in the hobby world, like we got back in, these Project 2020 cards were the right place at the right time. I mean, they were, you couldn't keep them in stock. Uh, and they were just the it thing. And now you can, you know, you can find them at card shows for pretty reasonable amounts. And they're cool. I, I got a Jackie Project yeah, 2020 got, for like three bucks at a card show. I think we've got two or three Frank Thomases, uh, many of them from Cotter. Uh, and so this was just a great add to the collection and definitely helps us think back to when we first started collecting together and the crazy time that was 2020 and 2021. Uh, thanks to Cotter. Thanks to you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.